So he asked me to meet him here. Uh, we're in like the middle of nowhere. And it's, as you can see, it's it's not it's not the brightest day to uh, be out here. But uh, yeah, I think that's him at the picnic table. It has to be him. He's like the only one here. And gotta take him driving today. Hey, uh, yeah, you also picked the worst day to go driving. I, I hope you know you picked the worst day. But I don't care. I'm getting paid for it. So um, I'm, I'm not concerned. Um, you have to be concerned because you're the one driving and you've never dri you've never driven in an actual test before. Maybe with your mom or something uh, on the road with your permit. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. So here a, li a little bit of uh, things that you need to be aware of. All right. Um, car. Always have your foot on the brake if you're not moving. So that means when you start the car, when you're at a red light, um, <clears throat> when when you're stopped at a stop sign, um, you don't need you don't always need to press the gas. Um, you don't always need to press the gas when you want to go. That that's a that's a key factor that many people don't know. Uh, yes, that. And it's a safety, safety thing. You, and you don't always need the gas pedal to uh, go. That that's a that's a key factor that a lot of people miss. We can head out into the car now. Um, you should always know, of course, seatbelt, foot on brake, start the engine. That's the most important thing. Um, make sure to lock the door. You can do pre-trips on your own. Well. well Nobody does pre-trips, but it's kind of required for me to say within the manual. So that. So go ahead and start up the vehicle. Um, make sure your foot is on the brake. Uh, parking brake is on. Um, so remember what I said? This you've, you've driven a car before. You know how this stuff works. I'm just required to say it. Um, plus, there's a lot of tips that uh, a lot of people don't use that are very crucial. A lot of people don't give you. So let's go ahead and start reversing out of here. Go to the left. So go, we're gonna reverse out at the circle. Nope, the other way, nope, nope. And you're going way too fast, slow down, slow down. All right, break. Now, okay, you're you're switching these gears too fast. You're gonna end up putting an, a different gear on. If you're nervous, it's fine, you, you don't be. All right, now go slow, 10 miles an hour on these dirt roads. You never wanna go fast on a dirt road. All right, let's go straight. Um, we're gonna take a trip around the um, suburbs and then uh, down towards Springfield. All right, S slow, slow and steady stop at the stop sign. Turn your blinker on to the left. All right, and make sure there's no cars coming. Look both ways and go. Remember the speed limit is 40, okay? So speed limit is 40. Yeah, it's quite odd that there's no cars all right we're gonna we're have a intersection coming up here you have the right away but since you're turning right stop stop and turn your blinker on since you're turning right he should be going and then this suv behind him is going to stop at the stop sign perfect slow and steady slow and steady you're going 40 keep going you're good all right should he should okay so he's not turning. oh my god what the heck dude you just crashed through the fence why did he stop? I didn't even have any time to react. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Your, your, your car is like... Like damage on the front. Are you serious? Jeez. I... That... Uh... Okay. What are you thinking? Okay, why is there a pallet in the road? Hey, Sheriff... Why is there a pallet in the road? He did. He brake checked them. There's no stop sign here. And there's a pallet. Why is there a pallet in the road? On a foggy day. Why, why are you so angry, Sheriff? Property damage. It was an accident. Would you rather have a rear... Like, would, would you rather have a car accident or a fence accident? Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff. There's this pallet in the road. This guy over here crashes it like... 
he stopped so hard um that like we didn't have any time to react whoa 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 lower your tone it was him driving why did he have handcuffs hey hey listen to the listen to the sheriffs before before you get into any more trouble listen to the sheriffs oh my gosh okay yeah go go ahead and uh listen to them listen to them graphical listen to them you're a minor you 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 can't be doing that just listen to them it's it's gonna be better for your case I'm telling you yes i am the instructor but he's a student driver i don't understand why you guys are mad i let this happen it's a foggy day and there's a pallet outside of your office your sheriff office there's a pallet there's a pallet outside of your office okay and that's a safety hazard for drivers i don't i don't i don't understand you i don't understand your logic here all right man you should be able okay okay that's how it's gonna work okay 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 that that's how you want to be here we'll go ahead and see you guys in court okay um I'm gonna help this kid out. He's he's literally 16. He's 16. 17. Sorry. He's 17. 17. I don't get why you guys are being so harsh. You're, you literally have him in handcuffs. There's nothing I can do, but there's definitely something you can do, which is take him out of the cuffs. Oh yeah, I'm taking this to court, man. I'm definitely taking this to court. Um, for sure. For sure, I am. You guys are gonna lose. Um, I'll have you know. Our property was damaged. Okay, and we're at risk. Okay, we'll be okay. Sure, we'll we'll pay for property damage. Uh, I'm sure you wouldn't mind paying uh, your own property damage for having a pallet in the road, as well as arresting a minor for something that he did that he couldn't he couldn't like uh, swerve out of. Like he he wasn't able to. Uh, Sorb out of the way. Arrest me. I want you to see what happens. I'll have you know I have lawyer experience. So I don't think you want to do that. I also have high ranking friends within the uh, sheriff department. Mm-hmm. Under Sheriff Lego? I I'm sure you know who Under Sheriff Lego is. You guys know who Under Sheriff Lego is? Yeah, that, that that's that's family. He's family. Yeah, I don't think you want to do that anymore. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he wants to walk away. Alright. Let's try to get this cleaned up over here because this... It's... It's... It's a mess. Alright, do you guys need any help with that? I can help you push... I can help you push the car. The, the pallet, I'm sorry. Come on. I can help you push it to the side of the road. Yeah. Whoever's pallet this is really needs to be careful. Because now we just caused an accident... That isn't even my car. I think that's his parents' car, guys. That's not that's not even my car. That's that kid's parents' car. And uh you guys have a broken fence and Yeah, it's it's fine, but I still don't understand where the kid is. Where, where's the kid and why is he being arrested? He's just a kid. I think, uh, I think you should, I think you should let him go. Well, if you, you guys should press, for sure, if you want to press charges, you may. I don't think you guys are going to win, but I don't think arresting the kid is a good route here. His parents are on the way anyway. Yeah, uh, did you call a tow truck? Well, I mean, we kind of need it. The car is banged up, but... I'm surprised you really called the tow truck. Uh, hey. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Uh, I, I don't know who called you here because I didn't, but you're towing that, uh, gray car back there. You're towing the gray car back there. It has a, it has, like, a it damaged front. It, like, has a bunch of dents in it. Um, yeah, I just didn't want you guys to get confused. All right, they're gonna let him off the warning. Um, warning. Okay. 
court will deal with the rest I, I think i think that's fair i think i think that's fair just let the kid go i'm i got lucky i i'm not a, i'm not a part of this that's a whole part of our policy there at the dmv we uh we, we're, we're not liable for anything that happens with uh, the student driver's car but the sheriff seemed to think uh that we're pretty liable Jeez. All right, man. Uh, are you all banged up? If not, I suppose you can probably get out of here. I don't know. But it's up to you. I'm just... Right now, we're waiting on the kid's parents, and uh, we we can go from there. Yeah, kid. You you uh, you got you got pretty lucky that uh, those officers didn't want to press... Uh, oh, they did press charges, but they didn't arrest you. Which I kind of I think I bribed them with uh, saying the under sheriff was my uh, family. I mean he really is, but um, still I I think he got really lucky there. Uh, right now we have to go to the impound lot. Um, the police uh, the sheriff requested it, but your parents said they're gonna meet us there and uh, they're gonna help us dispute all of this stuff. Hope you're um, doing well. I you probably got a little banged up. Luckily the air air uh, things didn't pop out or else probably would have got more injured to be honest honestly what a terrible terrible day anyway bad weather uh, a horrible accident just wasn't a good day